Well, hi, everybody. It's the Gratitude Guy, David George Brook, with another special guest on the Gratitude Podcast interview, The Pandemic, my good friend Stephen J. Dunn. I've known Stephen a number of years. I think we're into the decades now, a decade or two, but a great friend of mine. Welcome to the podcast, Stephen. Thank you very much, David. I appreciate it. It's been, uh, I was thinking about this morning uh, in preparation for our call, it's been 32 or 33 years. Gosh, so it's like three decades. Yeah. That just freaks me out. Yeah, it's just it's just worse, worse the time gone. Of course, we're like anybody else. That, that hair color has changed a little bit for both of us. But yes, yes, so, I'm a blonde so, now. I like to say blonde, not gray. But I'm that just, is blonde. That's good. That's good in that desert sun too. So let me start you off with this question: What is your best coping mechanism to deal with this pandemic? What's working best for you? Uh, two things: uh, uh, prayer has always been important in my life, and and in times of uncertainty. Uh, I, I retreat a little bit to that and, and spend more time thinking uh, about about God and how blessed I've been in my life. Uh, mm. It's been what fifty eight, almost fifty nine years, and and uh, I've been very very fortunate. So I I do that, uh, and then physically I work. Each day, you know, getting sweat going, that kind of thing. Mm. Um, and uh, it's funny, uh, the gratitude journal that, that you've introduced me to, it's quite helpful to uh, actually take the time to write down the things that uh, you're, you're uh, grateful for. And I did that this morning. Uh, okay. Just And I thought maybe I just, it's okay, I just read of you know, five or six things that I'm grateful for. So That'd be great. Uh, in, in the gratitude journal, it's current events, special occasion where, you know, our Brooker chat, whenever you and I chat, it's a good time. And we yeah, laugh like, and yeah, we talk sure about is. the good and the, and the tough things that have gone in our lives and that, that, but it's, it's always a blast to talk. But number one, my faith in God was, is, is the one thing that really comes first before everything. Uh, then I put down, I'm grateful for my wife, Gina, my sons, David, Joey, and Evan as number two. Uh, number three, I put the rest of my brothers and sisters and my dad, who's 86 years young is, is wow. still uh, still with us, and uh, while he's battling dementia, he's in a great place. And he's in good spirits. Oh, that good. makes me happy. Of course, my health, my home, just the ability to put food on the table. Uh, I mean, I have a very comfortable bed, and I've got a uh, I've got a great wife and a great life. Um, and you know what? I'm thankful. The last point I wrote down here and you share this too for whatever reason uh, when we get into stressful times like this to go back and say okay let's change the goals we're thinking about every day uh to more of a, a six month year five year plan and i find that kind of takes you out of the day-to-day -day, uh repetitive negative that we get from the, the television and, right. and it's not worth your time. I mean, yeah. uh, I try to take a look in the morning and the afternoon, but I know what to do from the social distancing. And, and, uh, and I try to be there for my friends if they need anything. But, uh, you know, that positive attitude is, is I think, a gift. And uh, I don't know where it comes from. Uh, I believe in faith and I believe in God. So I'm, I lean that way. But, uh, you know, you've always had a great attitude as well. And it, it's very helpful uh, yeah. when you go... No, it just went, it went, uh, it was like, yeah. No, I was going to say, when you said the attitude, you and I have very similar attitudes. That's what kind of drew each other, do ourselves to each other just back, way back when, those 30 years ago. But I almost consider it's kind of a gift. It's almost God given because I had a mother who was very positive, a father that was very negative, and I came out very positive. And I'm just, I'm grateful for it. And, and it's interesting because you did a great job of, I'm such a proponent of the gratitude journal because I, 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 sell them and a lot of people buy them and it's great and it's such a great tool and my next question to be is so the uncertainty what are you grateful for and you just listed those things off which was excellent so i would move to this question so being somebody who's so positive and has such a good attitude which uh, again we've said is such a great way to go through things any uh, tips or thoughts or ideas for other people to what to do during this time well just uh i don't want to repeat everything Everything, but just the, the idea of working out and uh, getting outside, oh, good. Um, 
and, and I think that's such an important thing physiologically, you know, just mm -hmm. the endorphins in your brains that kick in after a good hard workout. Feel better after a good hard workout. So I think that's meditation. A lot of people use meditation and, uh, um, you know, I see a lot of people that do yoga. Uh, if you look online, how people are doing yoga online, uh, mm -hmm. there's just so many ways to uh, get in touch with what's great and, and how lucky and fortunate we are. Um, but pretty much, you know, my thoughts for people are be thankful for what you do have and focus yeah. on what is good in your life and uh, try to block out the consistent negative, uh, whether it's on a TV or whether it's uh, a person or two. Mm -hmm. He does love company. I choose to uh, hang around people like yourself and uh, uh, yeah, people I like being with that I know uh, are going to make me feel great about what I'm doing. That's really true because you are known by the company you keep. And I think that that old line about one bad apple spoils a whole bunch. And I've had people, in fact, you and I have always loved to joke about things. And I have a standard line when I'm around somebody I don't want to be around that's negative. And I just go, listen, it's been fun talking to you. I love your shirt, but listen, I got to run. And, ah. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I don't want them to feel bad. Like, I just don't want to be around them. Everything's negative, you know. And it's like, I want to be positive and I want to be, it's so easy to be negative. I mean, it's just such an easy path to go down. It takes a little more energy to be positive. So anyway, but uh, <laughs> ask you, my last question would be if, if you have a, a quote or a philosophy, but that really is a good philosophy and hanging and, and knowing who and being conscious of who you're hanging around. So, uh, because it does, it does make a difference on what our environment creates for us. So anyway, well, thank you, my friend. That yeah. was uh, excellent tidbits and um, we will chat soon, I'm sure, but thank you so much. Thank you, David. Have a great day. I appreciate you. it. You too, Steve.